Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Saeed Ali Madan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss how to sketch the region of integration, how we can reverse the order of integration, and how we can evaluate the double integrals. And for this purpose, we will practice question number 49 from Thomas Calcus 12th edition book. In this question, the first requirement is sketch the region of integration. In order to sketch the region of integration, we need some boundaries through which we can sketch the given region. And these boundaries are obtained with the help of limiting values of inner and outer variables. Here, the inner variable is x, and the limits of x are y to 1, and the outer variable is y, and the limits of y are 0 to 1. So first of all, we will learn how to sketch the region of integration. For this purpose, first of all, we will write down the boundaries by equating the inner and outer variable with the limiting values. Here, for outer variable, y is equal to 0 for lower limit, and y equal to 1 for the upper limit. Similarly, y equal to x. Similarly, y equal to x as an equation which passes to the point where x and y have the same value in the ordered pairs. And x equal to 1 is the equation of vertical lines. Please note that whenever please note that whenever you plot a given region or you will going to sketch a given region, first of all, you will draw x-axis and y-axis with the help of some dotted lines or with the help of a lead pencil. After that, if equation of any coordinate axis is involved, then you can make that particular axis as a dark axis or a dark boundary. Dark boundary indicates that this particular boundary is involved in your region and dotted line means this line is not involved in your region. So here, y equal to 0 is equation of x-axis, which is involved in our boundaries. So I have made dark. But y-axis is not involved in our boundaries, so I, I will left it as dotted. After that, I have marked x-axis, y-axis, and their point of intersection on the origin. Then I have plotted the line y equal, x equal to 1. This is a vertical line, which passes the point x equal to 1 where the value of x-axis is 1. Similarly, y equal to 1 is a horizontal line, which passes to the point where the value of y is y-axis is 1. Next, in order to plot the line x equal to y, I will join the points 0, 0, and 1, 1. So this line is an equation of y equal to x. So from here, you can see we have our region of integration as a load triangle. In the next step, we have highlighted our region of integration with yellow color. After highlighting this region of integration, we will discuss what is the meaning of reversal of order or what is the meaning of reverse the order of integration. <laughs> Reversal of order of integration means you have to interchange your inner and outer variable. For example, in this question, the inner variable is x and outer variable is y. So we will interchange our inner and outer variable as dy dx. And you know, in order to calculate limit of our new variables as inner and outer variables, we need some new limits. As in the given integral, the limits of inner variable x was y to 1 and limits of y was 0 to 1. We cannot simply interchange the limits because if we interchange the limits, the limits of outer variable become variable. And I have told you before in my previous lectures that in double integrals, limit of inner variable may be constant, may be variable, but the limit of outer variable is always constant. <clears throat> so we cannot interchange the limits. So in order to evaluate the limits of inner variable y, we will use arrow technique. 
वी विल पास ए वर्टिकल एरो लुक ओवर हेयर we will pass a vertical arrow from bottom to top through this region this vertical arrow enters the region from the boundary where the value of y is 0 and exit the boundary where the value of y is x so from here we will get the limits of our inner variable from 0 to x for outer variable x for outer variable x we will check the range of our region along that particular axis along x axis our region start from origin and ends at 1 so for this region limits of our outer variable are 0 to 1 so this process in which we will interchange or we have interchange our in an outer variable with new limits is called the process of reversal of order of integration after reversing the order of integration we will evaluate this integral in order to evaluate a double integral we will solve the inner integral first and then on the outcomes of inner integral we will apply outer integral so for this purpose i will use brackets and i have changed the color of in an integral so that we are focused here we will solve this inner integral inside the bracket with red color first and then on the outcomes of this inner integral we will apply outer integral please note that with respect to y x is constant and in order to integrate e raised to power xy expansion function we need the derivative of power as a multiplier with this function So for this purpose we will split this x square in as x into x we will take one x outside of the integral and we will use second x as the derivative of power of exponential function i have changed its color into green i have split it this x square into x and x so that you are focused here that we need the derivative of powers of exponential function for its complete integration so now the integration of e raised to power xy into x with respect to y is e raised to power xy for the limits 0 to x in the next step we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate the limits means upper limit minus lower limit for upper limit we replace y with x and for lower limit we replace y with 0 upper limit minus lower limit next step we will simplify it so this is This step completes the evaluation of our inner integral. In the next step, we will apply outer integral on this particular function. For this purpose, we will split the integral on each term and open the brackets. It becomes x into e raised to power x square minus x. So we can split the integral on each term. After this, in the first integral, please note that in order to integrate exponential function. e raised to power x square into x we need the derivative of its power and the derivative of e raised to power x square derivative of power of exponential function x square is 2x so we will create it we will multiply with 2 and divide it with 2 in this integral focus here with green color 2 next in the next step the integration of e raised to power x square into 2x will be e raised to power x square for the limits 0 to 1 and the integration of x will be x square over in the next step we have applied the limits upper limit minus lower limit we have replaced x with 1 and x with 0 for lower limit upper limit minus lower limit in each term and in the next step we have we will simplify it and we will get our result as 1 by 2 e minus 2 this concludes our lecture thank you for watching this video Allah Hafiz